What's going on, everybody? Jimmy Tiptoe here. We're back with another reaction to Invincible Season 2. We had Invincible come back after a long break, and the episode it came back was insane. A lot happened, and we had some casualties in there. Guardians of the Globe, a reduced capacity version, went on to take on the Lizard League, and we saw the end of Kate shrinking ray and what seems to be rexplode very sad end to that we didn't see rexplode die on camera however a gun was behind his head and we heard the trigger get pulled we will find out his fate in this episode and while we have everyone else off in a space station we'll call it of all of those creatures coming from Mars, and also things aren't looking good for them either. So let's find out what happens. Here we go. What is it? Come the on. Survives. I don't want Rex or to die. Just do it, you prick. <laughs> well, we found out. Almost done. Whatever you are planning, it will fail. Ooh. There's too many of them. We can't give up. It tickles. It tickles. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow. Done. Tell them someone has to get this close to us and then press the button. Anyone? Hello? Invincible. Mark, Anyone get in there. I'll do it. Oh. How dare you? Stop it! I'm stronger and faster than you, and you know it. Don't fail. Oh. Get in his face. There you go. Pop it. Yes! Hell yes! We did it! Did you? No. We told you we were too powerful. You're waking up. Maybe there's some juice left in this thing? That's a big maybe. Get him. Stop him. Something. <laughs> no! Ugh. You okay? Yeah. That was a close one. Just happy to be me again. Yes, hooray! Ten out of ten! We need to go now! <laughs> Where am I? We'll explain later. Agree to my demands, and I will consider not destroying half of the nation! <laughs> what? Fuck! Look at this brave little soldier. <gasps> Rex? Seems like the loss of your brain hasn't hurt you as much as one would expect. Oh my. How sad. Oh, oh, I said, shut up! Oh, my God. Rex? Why would you? That's a weird question. I'm fine. Totally good. Never better? You know me. I'm practically. Holy crap, dude. We need to get this guy to an OR now. Come get on, a stretcher save him. over here. Jeez. Is she still alive? She's somehow still alive, too? Never gonna be sushi. Uh, the hangar's through there! 
Halt! You saved us from the sequids, and for that we are grateful. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, look, we gotta go. But we cannot permit you to leave with the great betrayer. What kind of punishment? Death. I understand. <laughs> this is as fast as it goes. There's your rage organs. Open the airlock. Yeah. Should have thought of that first. Sorry. Sorry. I guess they have decided Shape Mitch Smith is one of them now. That was amazing. Thanks. Yeah, well, you know, I I trained with the best, right? <laughs> Seen you in my mind Would you All of her bodies Make me feel easy Cuz I feel 25 Show us Rex come on we all want to see Rex and it never was that way Is that insensitive Something changed inside my heart Now I'm unsure of can she make him a new brain? Kate Chaw was a fearless warrior. Though her powers came from a family curse, she believed they were a gift to help those around her. It was a beautiful service. I'm glad it didn't rain. Kate hated the rain. Morals being uh, a bit soft. Why do I feel this way, Marcus? Because you loved her, man. I loved many others before Kate. All of them died as well. But this, this is different. Oh, okay. I thought we had more time together. Mark, look who's back. Whoa, Rick, how are you feeling? Hi, Mark. I guess I'm fine. He's doing great. Doctors wow. gave him a clean bill of health. Donald says he can come back to upstate. Well, you look like shit. And that's coming from a guy that looks like this. Heard you're getting a new hand, too. <laughs> yeah. Lucky me. How's Ray? Hold it in there. You know, when that bullet went through my head, I saw my life flash before my eyes. Yeah, that's always sounded like bullshit to me, too, but it's not. Huh. And I didn't like what I saw. I was such a dick to Kate. To Eve, too. To every woman I've ever dated. None of them deserved it. I don't know why I had to get my brains blown out to see that. You've been a nanny for 30 years. <laughs> Children on my life. Your resume is very impressive. Yes. But what about but I don't think you're superhero. the right fit for us. No? No. I'm not comfortable hiring a spy. Spy? I don't understand. <laughs> nice I was job. married to Nolan for 20 years. I can spot Cecil's people a mile away. So thank you. Bye bye. That man cannot take a hint. Hi, I'm April Housum here for the nanny position. Now, before we begin, you should know that Cecil sent me. Now, I wasn't supposed to tell you, but I think it's unacceptable to mislead a potential employer, especially one looking for someone to take care of their child. Please come in. It's a trick. As you can see, I have extensive experience working with gifted children ranging from newborns to late teens. Is simple. Encourage a child's natural curiosity for the world. Here you go, buddy. While giving him structure and a safe space to grow and learn. I also play a mean lullaby on the ukulele. <laughs> I appreciate your honesty, April. But I don't want a GDA agent in my house running interference for Cecil on how to raise Oliver. I work for you, Miss Grayson, not Cecil. Period. You're the boss. She's not saying all the right things, but I'm a boss. this is Cecil we're talking about. <laughs> See? Oliver knows who's in charge. Wow. Mama boss. Real nice place you made here, Eve. Cecil. He's gonna Reminds try and recruit her. We I need you. To thank you personally for helping out with the whole secret business. And to once again offer you a spot on the Guardians. Cecil. Duplicate's dead. Ray and Rex are in the hospital, and Immortal is... Well, let's be frank, his head is not in the game right now. He's gone soft. That's what you say. Ready to join the team? You're old friends with half of them anyway. 
Cecil. Uh, you know, I'm still figuring out what kind of hero I want to be, and that's not the kind of person you need on the Guardians. But you know how to find me if you need my help again. And you know where to find me when you change your mind. Thanks for your time, Eve. I'll leave you to your guest now. I told you it's gonna be another four hours. You want it done fast or done right? Hey, Art. Mark. Sorry, I, I thought you were someone else. Just leave your suit and I'll have it fixed by morning. I, I actually came to talk, but if you're busy, I can... What's on your mind? Well... I see. Girl trouble. That obvious, huh? It's all over your face. He doesn't kid. have his dad to talk oh, to you yeah. about. And I, I love Amber, and I want to be with her, but it, it feels like the universe is conspiring against us. Ugh, it doesn't matter if you're a superhero or an ordinary Joe. Relationships aren't easy. I should know. I've been in plenty of them in my day. I've only dated one guy. Rex was my first serious boyfriend, which is sad and embarrassing to admit out loud. We all got to start somewhere. You know, we'd known each other for years. It just kind of made sense. And and it was good for a while. Until I finally had enough of him cheating on me every time he left the tower. It makes you human. And then the last thing he told me before the Viltrumites took him away wasn't, I love you, or I'm sorry. It was, read my books. Can you believe he gave them to me as a tip once? <laughs> a big spender, your dad was not. Lost inside the chasm to oblivion. Hate tribes on the planet wreck. I told Nolan they were great, real exciting. Uh, I never read them. <laughs> the man with the invincible gun. Catchy title, Dan. Little was known about the Space Rider. He was a mystery, the stuff of legends. Stories about him stretched across the 12 galaxies. But in all of them, one detail remained constant. The Infinity Ray. It was said to emit an unstoppable energy wave that destroyed anything in its path. But it required a steady hand. And more importantly, a steady mind. For it wasn't a weapon to be used in haste. No one has ever gotten close enough to study the Infinity Ray for themselves. The Space Rider always makes sure of that. Some gun. If the Infinity Ray is indeed real, and as powerful as the stories claim, it poses a huge, huge threat to our mission. Okay. Savage planet, savage beasts. Our mission was simple. To investigate this harsh planet and report back to Space Command headquarters. The first thing we noticed was its gravity. The planet was so dense and its pull so strong, we could barely move. After finding no usable resources, Excuse my partner me, some and I type were of ready to return home. There somewhere? But the planet had other plans. Ragnars. In an instant, I was surrounded, swarmed, overwhelmed. I've battled creatures ten times their size, but because of the gravity on this planet, Ragnars had evolved strength like no other. Oh no! I had grossly underestimated these creatures, and I feared this place would be my grave. Wait, no way. What? What do you want, Cecil? Kate's death was difficult for everyone, but I need you I to... said I'm fine! What? Send it here. What is that? Someone's coming in hot from deep space. Is that, what's his face, oh, Alan? Man. Immortal, wait. Immortal! Fuck. Donald. Ugh, where did Invincible say he lived again? Crap, this is gonna be tricky. <laughs> oh, chill. Well, hey, I, I think there's been a misunderstanding. <sighs> How can I hear you speak? Okay, it, it, it's just this implant I have. It lets us communicate telepathically. It's not a big deal. Get out of my head! Too hey, chill. I am not here to fight. I'm just looking for Invincible. Invincible? Omni-Man sent you! Huh? No! No! And chill the hell out. I do not want to hurt you, sir. Ooh, this is not good. Oh, you crossed the line with that one. I'll kill you! We just met! Ah. Invincible! What the hell is going on? 
I don't know. I came here looking for you, and then suddenly this douchebag attacked me. You have those <laughs> on Earth, right? Douchebags? Alan's my friend. He's a good guy. Oh, uh, my thing only works between me and someone else, not between two other someone else's. It's a design flaw. I, I'm told there's a... <laughs> right. Um, can you tell him? Uh, yeah, with pleasure. Hi, sir. Mark says I'm a pal. He also says I'm essentially the king of space, uh, so you should be very nice to me. Also, he <laughs> says he hates your dumb beard because it's missing all the best parts of a beard. <laughs> These parts. I don't Less believe action. you. He doesn't believe you. Did Alan attack you or threaten you? Oh, good question. Mark wants to know if I attacked you or threatened you, which I totally didn't because you just charged up here and attacked me. Not very heroic of you, Earth superhero of Earth. I, I thought you were someone else. Yeah, he was know, looking for girl. a fight. His girlfriend just died. Well, now I feel like a giant douchebag. You do have them, right? I'm going to keep making that reference. <laughs> we need to talk. Can we go somewhere that's not, like, in space? And also, for future reference, will you just point to where you live? I right, we should be good now. You know, on my planet, a sock on the door means somebody's fucking. Yeah, it's the same here. <laughs> but, get this. My boss, Thetis, is also a Viltrumite. What? I know, right? It turns out he rebelled against the Empire, like, years ago. So, that makes two of you. It's not much, but it is a start. Now, if we could only win over your dad. Yeah, uh, about my dad... They yeah, they catch him took up on him away. That. Said they're going to execute him if they haven't already. Um, that is, wow. That is quite the story. Do you think my dad's dead? I don't know. Filtramites are weird about killing their own people. I think because it doesn't happen much anymore. So, why are you here exactly? Oh, yes, right, of course. On behalf of Thetis and the Coalition of Planets, I am to escort you to Telescria to discuss our war against the Viltrum Empire and how you can help. Grab your stuff, Mark. We got a boogie. What? No. I, I just got back from space. Twice. I'm not going back just to talk to your boss. He's kind of sick of space. chance to end Viltrumite tyranny for good. Isn't that what you want? Of course. But... Amber and I are in a weird place. And now that my mom's looking after my half-brother, I can't just ditch her. Are we going to have to fight now? Nah, I don't fight friends. Because I would win, and then I feel terrible. It's a vicious cycle. But <laughs> I should get going. Thetis will not be happy with me. Maybe I can help with that. I have a hunch about something, but I need a second opinion. Okay, so I think everything in these books is real. And it's all stuff that can hurt Viltrumites. That's why my dad wanted me to read his books. He's telling us how to defeat the Empire. Oh, shit. Can I, uh, can I scan these to take back to the Coalition? Of course. Thetis will be a lot less pissed when I show him all of this. Huh. All right, got it. It was good seeing you again, Mark. Thank you. And I'm very sorry about your father's impending or already completed execution. Uh, thanks. <laughs> I, I, I still don't get why they took him away when they could have just killed him on Thraxa. I've heard rumors of a Viltrumite prison somewhere in space. Maybe they took him there. Want me to ask around? I'd appreciate that. Tell Thetis that when it's time to attack, when you need someone for the actual fight, I'll be there. Count on it. Hey, Mark, are you and Amber done yet? That's not been <laughs> on the door for hours, and I really need to go to bed. For hours. In order for a Viltrumite to be executed, he must be healed and whole, worthy to stand and face the end of his life with honor. Even if his crime was devoid of it, yet for even such a craven betrayal, there is a path to redemption. Rejoin your people, Nolan. Let this not be your legacy. You conquered hundreds of planets, brought glory to the Empire, you were one of our greatest warriors. How did a mere moment on Earth turn you into a weak, sentimental traitor? Son? Answer me! That planet and its people are toxic if they could do this to you. They too will pay. Seems like he could break out. Fucking Martian. 
It wasn't enough that you left me to die on Mars. You had to trash my place, too. Ugh. Oh, no, 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 no. No! Uh... Wait, there's more. Let me help you with the jacket. Mm. An excellent fit, if I do say so myself. May I ask, sir, what's the occasion for such a fine suit? I'm visiting an old friend. A multiverse. Ah, uh, it is good to be home. Okay. So, I mean, where do I even start? We're explode. Still alive. How? Don't know. Shrinking Ray is still alive. Kate is gone. She is who we saw in the trailer in the funeral. The funeral was hers. Immortal. Being a little softy. First time in ever. And he's going a little cuckoo. Alan. Love him. Shows up. Gets into it with Immortal. Mark stops it. And we find the books that Omni Man was telling Mark about or Nolan and it seems like it is telling Mark about weaknesses of Viltrumites, which it would be huge in this potential upcoming war. Mark and his girlfriend Amber having issues. Is it gonna set up Mark and Eve? I don't know. Those of you watching the comments know I don't. And yeah, oh Williams boyfriend ryan is that he's acting you know he obviously went through a lot i'm wondering if there's going to be some type of side effects more so than what we've already seen concern there and omni man's still alive which figured yeah he was still alive he's on prison guy leader there is trying to get him to turn back to their side. That's it. Yeah. I can't think of anything else of more value. Oh, Mark's brother was named Oliver after his grandfather and his mom did end it up. It seemed like if she was hiring one of Cecil's agents, but she seems all right. You know, Jerry's still out for that one. We're not 100% sure, but she talked to good game. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad Rexplodes didn't die. But curious to see how he will be changed because he seemed like, you know, he had a realization of how much of a jerk he has been, you know, specifically to the woman he's dated. So we'll see. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. We'll see you for the next upload. Peace out.